Here's first and ten for the Yellow Jackets. Oliver. Quick pass and intercepted by Muse. Turnover at Georgia Tech. It was tipped by Spectre. You see Oliver trying to just kind of work a little option route to the tight end. Spectre runs underneath it. Well, that's just good job playing the football by Tanner Muse. I may have thought that was a first down on the completion. Tegan Baldry, the fullback, in there to lead the way for Corbin, and he got blasted short of the first down. Big hit by Tanner Muse. Tigers crowd the line. They've blitzed a lot today. They bring pressure again. Mond lobs it up, and it's intercepted by Tanner Muse at the goal line. It's a touchback. Two safeties. Kayvon Wallace, number 12, is the guy who gets the pressure. He forces the underthrow, and the other safety, Muse, is there for the interception. And what a stop. Two safeties. Kayvon Wallace, number 12, is the guy who gets the pressure. He forces the underthrow. Or get the committee's attention by using the hashtag Live Moss Student Section Contest. DeVito wrestled down by Tanner Muse, the blitzing safety. Tanner Muse is right here. Again, he, he, he's typically in the back end, but this is an adjustment that's new for this defense. How do we get after the quarterback by creating confusion? That could be Isaiah Simmons. That could be Kayvon Wallace. Quarterback by creating confusion. That could be Isaiah Simmons. That could be Kayvon Wallace. We asked Dabo about... Trevor Lawrence, and I feel that way about him. I think most people think he's going to be the number yeah. one pick overall in the draft. That first game with a grain of salt, because no one knew what Georgia Tech was going to do offensively. Right, with a new coaching staff and everything. Javante Williams has stood up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Second and 11. Warner Brook. Intercepted! Picked off by Tanner News! Quarterback in one of his first throws, wildly behind an open wide receiver. That could have been a conversion, but instead it's an interception by Muse. So third and 21. They bring the blitz again, and Larry escapes this time, and he's got some green grass because he was able to elude the rush. Still fighting, takes a big hit at the 41, ran right into Tanner Muse, who... Looks like that felt good for the safety. Isaiah Simmons forced to back the quarterback back into Tanner Muse. But a big game by the quarterback there on third down and a long, long way. Isaiah Simmons forced to back the quarterback back into Tanner Muse. Run against it and take advantage of some holes. He's going to take a shot down the sideline and it's picked off. Tanner Muse. To go back on the field. Really good discipline by Tanner Muse. Just reading the quarterback, Jamie Newman's eyes. To go back on the field. Really good discipline by Tanner Muse. Just reading the quarterback, Jamie Newman's eyes. He had Waydale Jones earlier. Put it on him late. And then Tanner Muse, the big 6-2 safety. Do it all for Clemson's defense. He's down at about the wing 10-yard line. Spires fumbles the snap. It's down on the ground. And there's a scramble for it all the way back inside the Clemson 30-yard line. So a special teams error for Clemson becomes an explosive play that Wake Forest needs. And now they'll start with the short field offensively. Just goes right through his hands. He watched it down. Right through his hands. Big bounce. Scrum to the ball. And now Wake Forest has a huge up to big advantage for this offense. Walker. Lost a couple of yards. Tanner Muse came through. through to make the stop. That's how you blow it up. You're going to see it on third down. Pressure's going to come. They're going to play man-to-man -man coverage. Here comes the blitz. And getting buried behind the line is Newman. It's Tanner Muse. He was the last blitzer. He was a free runner. And Newman had nowhere to go. A loss of eight. In the middle field goes to his right. Muse comes. The end drops. That doesn't happen by mistake. Jamie Newman never sees it because it doesn't look like it's supposed to happen. But the nonverbal communication, that mistake. Jamie Newman never sees it because it doesn't look like it's supposed to happen. But the nonverbal communication, that